Okay, so I promise to do this video and warn you guys. Okay, God is coming with a vengeance. I know I've been saying this for a while, but he's coming with a vengeance. And he's calling everyone to repentance and to come out of sin. Okay, many people are married. Okay, God did not ordain or call for you guys to be married. He called for you guys to be married to him. He called for you guys to take the narrow path. Okay, because broad is the way that leads to destruction. Okay, narrow is the way. But very few people find it, you guys. Okay, God did not want you to go like the world goes. The world goes and gets married and have a bunch of children. That's not what God, that's not the purpose and will of God for your life, love. God wants you to live for him. God is a jealous God. He tells you in Luke 14, 26 to forsake all this stuff. If you can't forsake all these people, your wife, your children, your house, your car, you know, your family, your father, your mother, and hate even your own life, then you cannot be my disciple. You cannot, that means that you cannot serve God. You cannot live for God if you are not willing to do all these things. Many of you guys are married. And you talking about what God is doing and how he's faithful and how you're humble and, and you're not none of that. You are deceived because you're not living for Christ's love. So many people are living for themselves. They're going with the world. They wake up and they, they work a job. They work for money. They serve money. You cannot serve God and money. If you really love God, then you have to obey him. You have to do what the word says. You have to forsake everything for God and let him provide for you. If you really trust God, you really love God, then you obey him. You believe him and you let him show you. You let him prove his word in your life. You're not going to heaven. You're not going to go to heaven. There are requirements. Love, believing is the first step. You have to believe in Jesus, but that's not it. You must do the word, love. You must do exactly what God says. So many have families and they, you know, they, they, they shacking up. So many are in sin, but they claim that they love God. No, you're not. You're not holy love. You're in sin. You're in sin. You're in sin. You're in sin. I don't care if you are married. Your marriage was not ordained by God. You're in sin. You shacked up with the enemy. Only the spirit of God. That's his Holy Ghost. You have to become a Holy Ghost. You got to have the Holy Ghost. You have to have the angel of the Lord living on the inside of you. In order to go to heaven. Flesh and blood cannot go to heaven. Cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You and your flesh love. If you don't have the spirit of God. You guys are deceived. You are deceived. And so God is saying. If you really love me. And you really believe me. Then listen to my prophet. Repent, come out of sin and live for me, live for me, have a relationship with me, be married to me and nobody else. Seek me, Matthew 6, and all these things shall be added unto you, says the Lord your God. Seek me in my righteousness. You got to be holy. God makes you holy, love. Things don't make you holy. Okay? God makes you holy. He makes you righteous. You have to be born again. You cannot remain in a state you in. So many people are sick. They're lost. They're hypnotized. They're in a trance. You guys are in a trance. You get up every day and you do the same thing. You work 
for a paycheck. You, you provide for yourself. You trying to save your own life and keep it afloat. You cannot save yourself. You must lose your life. You must lose yourself in order to gain life eternal in Jesus Christ. This is what I'm doing. I'm a living witness and example to the believer. And y'all look at me like I'm crazy. Like y'all serving God and I'm not. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And many will see. Many will be so sad and stricken because God is coming back with a vengeance. And it's going to be more people in hell than God intended. Because so many are rebelling. They're not adhering to the message. Repent means to come out of sin. It means to forsake everything and turn yourself over to God. Lay your life down at his feet and let him resurrect you in his spirit. This is the word of the Lord concerning you. But you keep going on with your life. Eating and drinking and being married, thinking that it's a joke. Thinking that what I'm telling you is a lie. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't not have, God is coming back for himself. He's not coming back for no flesh and blood. He's coming back for his spirit. He's coming back and hopefully there is faith on earth. He's coming back for himself, love. He's not coming back for a demon. He's not coming back for your flesh. He's not coming back for all the things that you want to do in the body. Fornication and, and you want to have fun and you want to drink and you want to smoke and you want to do all of that. You want to gratify your flesh. He's not coming back for you. You have to repent and come out of sin and be saved. You don't live the life you want. You, you belong to God. You was bought with a price. This is what it means. This is real. The word is real. You have to do it for real, love. It's not fake. It's not saying, Father, I believe. I trust you. But you're still doing whatever you want to do. You're a liar. And the truth is not in you. Until you do the word of God. And get his spirit living on the inside. You've been warned. Repent. And forsake everything. Everybody. For God. Be blessed.